Yeah, just um, I'm heading up to Derby, get some supplies and whatever. So yeah, fair bit of rain the last couple of days. I hate to imagine what the Gibb River Road's like. Uh, and yeah, busy. Everyone's just working out what to do. No one actually really knows what they're doing because they've got bookings either side. Um, you know, people got bookings in Broome in 10 days' time because they thought they'd be across the gear, but, but now they can't go there until 10 days' time, so everyone's just sitting in no man's land. Anyway, we'll go to Derby. Alright, oh, no, just in Derby, so there's Woolies. And I've got to say, that's probably about it. Uh, Mitre 10. Woolies, Mitre 10. Uh, home and electrical. Got some good supplies. Yeah, Derby, uh, the port. So I don't think much has been used out of the port now because most of us are going out via, um, via broom. And... <clears throat> Yeah, well, all the water I think comes through over there. So this is a uh, 12 metre tides. Uh, there's a sign, and I just spoke to some people. Um, so saltwater crocodile, just over there in the creek. Um, overall, I reckon downtown Derby is pretty good. Yeah, just come into the um, Boab Prison Tree, which is just out of Derby, a couple of k out of Derby. I was reading about it. It's not very nice history, really. Anyway, I'll go up there and have a look. Prison Boab Tree. I'll put some information about it up. I, I just came down because I thought, unlikely, I thought the Fairfield Leopold Road might be open at Windjana Gorge Tunnel Creek. But, um, nope. So absolutely everything's closed. So, yeah, spent a bit of time. Sort this chain and sprocket and... You know, I'm back on the highway again for a little while. You anyway, know, not, not exactly the right stuff, but it's all I could get in Derby. So, uh, hoping tomorrow in Broome can give the bike a, uh, a, give the bike a bit of a pressure clean. Uh, back over the way, Lowry Bridge, Lowry Bridge, Fitzroy River, crocks in there. Uh, heading to Broome. Uh, so that's pretty much the port. Not much action really. It's popping in the Cable Beach area. Uh, so super expensive out here, four or five hundred bucks a night, cheapest place. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, it's Cable Beach. Uh, nice streets, that's for sure. Oh, there's Wiley Creek Pearls. Uh, right, eh? Back at the Roebuck Plains. I'm reluctant, but I need to turn south. So, uh, been in a broom, broom's done, that was nice. Got the tyres all sorted out, back up the road pressures. Uh, I've got 100 k's, I'm going to go to Barn Hill. It's only quarter to two. 100 k's, everyone's just waiting for the river, I think. I know those people. I've I, I seen a couple of fresh hit dead kangaroos, so I thought I'll go slow. 
because it's a bit overcast and the stuff's not really cut back at the edge of the road anyway I just had a little one jump out and it did clip but it clipped this side uh, it, the, I, 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 I seen the kangaroo roll uh, but it got back up I felt a thump but it's okay um, uh, so just coming to the turn off of um, Barn Hill I've seen a few more roos they're only small so quite frankly I'm happy to stop riding I think you're yeah, definitely because it's cooler right oh, no, Barn Hill pretty popular spot oh, there's a beast there pretty popular spot hope I can uh, I hope I can uh, I can get a spot okay. Uh, sunset camped up at uh, Barn Hill Station just south of Broome. Starting to look pretty good. Okay, so dinner tonight. It's not bad, like a beef sort of stew, I don't know. Anyway, but the big thing, I managed to pick up this uh, freshly baked uh, loaf of bread so that's going to be very nice I'll have some of that and I'll have some of that in the morning nice to shake it up a bit yeah just going for a walk because that's my plan today um, super interesting rock formations um, out of case out the broom and I'm camped up quite a way down there and I'm planning on walking right down to there I've been walking for about an hour and a half so here's the first point I'm gonna go around it it's low tide um, I know you can come over the top there but I won't be that far over there because obviously high tide you wouldn't be able to walk around this point so I'm going to go around a little bit and just have a look. You can see how um, uh, how high the water comes up. Yeah, you won't walk back around, that's for sure. I might not be able to walk around now. Oh, it's not bad. And then maybe that one. Oh, that's all interesting. drone and had a bit of a lay down just down there I mean what a beautiful little spot and uh, you know no one's here just me I think my camp's just up here that's uh, three hours walking plus one on the drone plus had a little rest down the end so it's been a pretty good walk I'm going to have a look when I get internet reception. I want to see how far it is. I, I don't know. A fair way. I, I've left Barn Hill. That's where I've left. I've left the Barn Hill area. Come behind there. And the bush has changed already. So just out of the Kimberley region. It seems to feel it back in the field. Low lying bush. Heading to Cape Corandrum, it's no, yeah, 22 degrees, it was um, uh, got a horrendous crosswind and um, it's decidedly cold. Only 100, it's only uh, 11 o'clock, 100, oh god, look at the people. and cut through here. I'm going to go out and go through here. Uh, 
Uh, so I've just stopped at um, Pardu Roadhouse. Yeah, this is the one that got taken out by the cyclone. Fair bit of damage here. The dong has survived. I'm going to go around to the back later. Um, I thought it would be completely gone. Um, Bowsers are all gone. Uh, um, uh, telephone's gone. Uh, and I'm going to wander, I'll wander around the back. Right, so where I was going to go uh, was really blowing a gale, no shade, pulled the pin, had to come to South Headland anyway, so now I'm in South Headland, everything is full, including the campsites, so this is what I could get, actually it's a really nice looking room, um, yeah, so I haven't checked the ensuite yet. I still have my on to record. That's really good. All the FMG, it's FMG, all the iron ore trains. Uh, so just near South Headland, heading, well, heading to Port Headland. Uh, Big Cane Island. All the trains. Uh, here's another one going, this one's going in full, this one's coming out empty, the HP, coming out empty. Alright, I found the shopping mecca of Port Hedland, there's motorbike parking there, uh, Kmart, and I don't know what else is in there to be honest with you. Anyway, we'll pop in here. Yeah, it'd be good to check out. Good to check out Port Hedland. Uh, Kmart. I'm um, just going to get fuel, so I'm finishing south for Port Hedland. Uh, really enjoyed the place. I thought it was pretty good. Port operations, all that sort of stuff. This is a big train. Two locos at the front, two locos in the middle, and there's two locos up the back. So that's a full size, um, full sized, uh, uh, loaded, fully loaded train. So uh, I've been sitting here for a while, and I think I'll be sitting here for a while longer. Pretty bloody big. Leaving uh, Port Hedland, South Hedland, a couple of days, supply, a bit of a spell. Really quite enjoyed the place everything you need port operations are impressive trains again to see them impressive got a few new t-shirts got some warmer stuff there was no washing my t-shirts they'll be on any sort of recovery to be honest with you anyway now heading to towards marble bar um i've only traveled um 140 k's, it was a bit silly because I lent on this and actually reset me a odometer. So anyway, I've worked out the kilometers. This is my turn off. This is um, supposed to be a really nice campsite in here. So this is where I was going to stop for a night or two because there's another pool over the other side. So I thought I can sort of set up a camp and then you know go the other side as well and just have a bit of a look. But I'm thinking this is a pretty good spot to be just by the ride coming in here. I mean, look at this up here. All right. I'm um, just come for a walk up the hill from this camp where I'm camped up. It's good. It's only one o'clock in the afternoon, not even. Oh, yeah, it's quarter to two. But anyway, I'll see where I'm at. Uh, got these campers here. I am camped just down here. Can't really see me. And there's only two other people there. Waterhole over here, the gorge. Um, 
there's a whole heap of pelicans and bird life over there, so I'm going to go for a walk over there soon. And I've got to say, um, this is a free camp, and um, it's really, really nice. Here's my plan. So I've got another doona inside the sleeping bag. I think it could be down to, well, I've got to prepare for it up to three, down to three degrees. So it's really quite cold. So go on the doona. I'm going to put get my trucky pants out. Don't let myself get cold at all. Collected enough wood and get a fire going. Been just sitting over here with these people. So they said pop over later, take my chair. Uh, so that's nice. Sit around their fire. Um, cockatoos, pelicans, beautiful view here. You know, gotta say, free camp. This 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 is this is this is my favourite camp so far for sure. Really nice. Beautiful. I'm filming again because it's just the perfect reflection. Right, back in me uh back in my little camp. Uh dinner's going. So tonight I'm trying something new. Hope it works because I bought a few of them. Uh rice. And then I've got a can of um a small can of tuna uh, to go in that, see how that goes. But I've got a bit, I don't know, I got all tangled up and the zip should be on this side, it's over that side, but anyway. Uh, I knew it was cold, but it wasn't a huge issue, but it could be if it gets much colder. But I've got a few extra things I can try. Yeah. It's a bit fresh this morning. I'm just going over here for a coffee and yeah, she, I share all this map. She doesn't know which way to go to. She's going towards Karajini. So I'll go have a cup of coffee and have a look at the map. Well, I've just come for a bit of a walk across the river and up the hill. I'm camped here. Here. Really enjoy it, just walking around and exploring a bit. Yeah. So I'm camped um, over there. So there's some, there's a there's another one over here. I mean the water would be freezing. Maybe the possibility of a swim. Um, but I'm pretty keen to have a look anyway. I don't know if I'd go for a swim. This is 20, 20, 28 degrees now, but... I've come down, all people are camped down there, but I found another little track. It's only one car parked over here. I'm going to leave the bike there. This is not bad. Steeper than it looks. Um, but it's only down there, so... Um, I'm going to just go down there. I've got my water bottle, so I can just walk in there a little bit, take the water off the top, give myself a bit of a freshen up and a bit of a splash. I think the other side is definitely better for the camping with the rock, and but still, very, very nice. Righto, had a bit of a splash. It feels so, so nice now. Certainly helps, I just having a bit of a... I didn't actually swim. Got my water bottle and splash myself over and had a bit of a wash as such. Uh, yeah, head back to camp over there. Have an easy afternoon. I want to walk back down to the pool, have a bit of a look. There's some fish and stuff in there, and that's really about it. How far just come from a walk from the camp? How far you reckon? 500 metres? 400 metres? Yeah, it's right. Heading back up to the second. Heading up here. Around the corner. 
first pull, second pull. I'm gonna try and get to the third pull. And oh gonna not sure if we can, second pull. Well that looks pretty clean today. So I'm gonna share all that camping spot. She's got some I'm gonna try and do a bit of fossicking. Uh she's got a couple of little uh yeah, that looks all right. Yeah. Oh, we got some beeping now, huh? Now it goes. Yeah. Don't, don't throw it too far away. Right. Oh, it's getting bigger. <laughs> the deeper we go, the bigger it's going to get, Paul. Hang on, let me. Let's run through it. Oh, because it was back in there, wasn't we checked? Mm. Right, so dinner tonight, because we got some fresh bread from Marble Bar. When I went in with um, Cheryl and you know, <sighs> cheese and got a few extra things tonight. So, But I've got the rice, that's my normal rice. Uh, but toasty. Ham, ham, cheese, tomato. Very nice. Doesn't look very good, but actually it's really, that'll taste and it'll taste pretty good. Uh, bit after six in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna move today. Four nights here. Been a really good spot.